Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, we're just having a quick look at uh, what's going on in our car uh, stock room. We have got 92 cars sat in stock. We have stopped making the sedan, the basic sedan. Um, however, what has been happening uh, between this episode and the last one is as our competitors have researched things, the amount of um, premium you've had to put on the car needs to be increased so that's what we've done we've increased the premium on all our mid-range cars up to 50% uh, because anything less than that it dropped it down as a basic which I was kind of surprised at so that's what's been going on we are slowly trying to get uh, more money um, however it's going the wrong way and it's going the wrong way quite significantly do you know what Let's sell off some of our power. Okay, so we've got a bit more money, that's fine. If we're not using the power, we don't need to have it. In actual fact, you know what? These guys here are full, so let's sell off a couple of these. And you can go and you can go I'll give me a bit more money all right that's fine that shouldn't cause us issues what else is going on that's not cause saving us what's not cost-effective what's going on with these sales Right, now because we've got... Oh my goodness me, right, we're producing three cars per hour, but we're not selling any. Right, your cars in this market seems overpriced. Okay. Right, okay, so we're not actually selling any of our mid-range cars. That is our problem. So if we go to our mid-range, we'd reduce that... See whether that makes a difference. Actually, let's knock it down to 30%. Still saying it's mid range, that's good. Okay. Alright, so we're now starting to make money. Um, I'm going to look at an additional line. Um, See what's going on with these. Right, so we don't have a budget sports car anymore. Let's see what we're going on with that. Uh, sports. Why aren't we building a sport budget? You're missing out. Why am I not making a sports car? Hmm. Why not got the sports car in here for some stupid reason? Body style. No, sports is in there. Sports are in there. Right, maybe it's because of how many they're producing an hour. Okay, so that's climate control. Right, okay, so that's knocked all those out of mid-range. Ah, this is micromanagement that you don't like to do. But our money's going up quite well. So do you know what? I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Uh, we're going to actually fit in our <laughs> fourth line. Um, I think maybe. Uh, no, actually, because we're not. We've got we've got a lot of uh, spare capacity. And it's down here that we've got the spare capacity. Insufficient resources. Still insufficient resources. That is ridiculous. Let me put in another conveyor. See whether that improves things. And uh, let's put another one directly up here. That's ridiculous. Why do we get into insufficient resources so often and so quickly? Companies now doing brake assist, so that must mean that these cars are going to be. Yep, yeah, everything's dropped down. <laughs> 
So let's go back in here, mid-range, let's increase the price. Is it going to go to budget? 45%. Keep it down just into the um, other market. Come on. In range. So I want to make sure cars are still classed as mid range. Hmm. Let's actually have a look at what's going on with features. Heater, in car music, power steering, sunroof. Every every car I've got has got a sunroof. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Right. The still classes. Right. Do you know what? I'm not worrying about it at the moment. Let's slow this down a bit, and let's have a look at what's going on here. Uh, so basically, this is our backlog. Um, we're not getting rid of these cars fast enough so I'm going to buy more robots on both of these see how that first of all uh, improves their efficiency for getting cars out okay uh, we need to make sure this one has f extra robots as well because we don't want that slowing things down upgrades by Okay, so that is now running as fast as they can. So we are looking at this door panel, which is 2 minutes 45 to one, just under 2 minutes to just over 1.5 minutes. So we could do with uh, spreading this out a bit more. We could do with having this line going here. Okay, a lot about the backlog going down here. Every single spot is taken with a vehicle, so we need to look at getting that spread out a bit more. Right, okay. Let's start by we've got two we've got four there. Going to these two. Insufficient resources. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for mirror. You're waiting for glass. It's glass here. What are you waiting for now? Servos. Right. I'm actually going to start making my own some of my own components. See so what's going on with these. These are still working fine. They've still got plenty of stock. He's still got stock, so that's fine. I'm going to look at servos. Uh, advanced manufacturing. Make servo. So what does that do? That's um, basically just pop in on there. Uh, make servo. So you need two steels and you make four servos. Uh, make sensors. Let's pop you in there. Let's pop you on that line so you all connected. All right, so servos, nowhere to go, no export room. Okay, so where are you using servos? Let's start using those internally. So you're using a servo, so let's import uh, preferred local uh, fit trunk, preferred local uh, front bumper that should be fine, rear is fine, trim should be fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. So you are now imports. Let's have a look. Preferred, preferred local, and we're also making sensors. So that's both of those. Um, Game from here. Preferred local and preferred local. 
All right, so we can start utilizing those and it'll take out of stock anything that's over here. We're going to put in a line straight down here. And where did we say we wanted servos? We wanted them on this line here. So let's put a direct connection, oops, direct connection into here and through. So those servos should go straight to where they're needed. And that's all that should be going on down there. So again, straight down and straight across. So we should improve that. Okay, right. So where are we at? We're at uh, 1.8 million. Uh, we've got 135 cars in stock and we're not selling them because they're all flipping. Oh, they're back up to uh, mid-range again. Competitiveness of the market, 92%. Your cars seem underpriced. Um, underpriced. Hang on, we're overpriced. So the sedan is overpriced. Let's go and have a look at that. Nope, I'm not doing that on that. Again, you are all... Yeah, not changing any of those. What I might consider doing is a marketing campaign. Let's see what we can do with marketing. So we have, uh, what do we have? We've got print. We can launch a campaign. So that'll cost us 500,000. Uh, that will increase sales by 20, uh, 15 to 30%, or we can do 800,000 and that will increase it 30 to 60 percent let's go for that we have got 136 cars so let's see what goes on with that so that's 800,000 we need these cars to go off the shelves let's see how long that's 12 hours So in theory, we should not be going above 130 odd cars in the next 12 hours. And we don't appear to be going down. Hmm. Sales. Customers per hour. Um, okay, do you know what we need to do? Let's actually look at this. We are, we've got customers per hour. This is what I'm probably not picking up on. Right, let's start making our basic sedan and basic compact. So let's do this. We're going to go for three. And we're also going to go for compact two. And we'll do it again here. Basic compact two. And we're going to put in our basic sedan again. Add new. I'm going to have three of those. Right. Okay. Let's see what happens with that. And that's just basically looking at our market and thinking, right. Okay. So we've got a budget for sedans, 20 customers per hour. We're not selling any. Um, What's going on with this? Cars are overpriced. Not producing enough. But we're making two per hour. Okay. Right. Okay, let's just see what happens there. Um, still need to sort this out. I suppose... I don't have to worry about doing that. I can actually just put another couple of lines in here. That's where it is. That's what I'll do. Thinking about it. So let's go for fit body. Um, it's actually fit roof because we've put vents in. So we fit body frame. We've done all those. 
so we're now just doing fit roof so let's put another fit roof in um, we're leaving a gap no we're not and let's put another one in uh, fit roof so we've then from fit roof we have um, door panels Uh, so we've got those two going into one again. So let's try that. Uh, fit windows. Fit wing mirrors. So let's have a look at what we do with that. Okay. Straight down and down and down. Conveyor. Missing sunroof. Right, okay, so upgrades. Um, buy all sunroof, yes. Uh, panoramic, yes. Uh, open top, yes. Nope. Okay, that's on there. So do we have one or two robots? We've got one robot there, so that's not too bad. It's this thing here, missing central lock-in. So lane departure, central lock-in. We're going to buy all the robots. We're going to have all that in place. With mirrors, well, let's go for everything again. Okay, so... We should be cooking on gas. I should now be producing more cars. So we've not got any backlog here now. We do, however, need to do that. So those cars can go down there as well. Cool. Excellent. All going down, perfect. So we could do with just making sure that uh, these guys now keep up with it. So fit vents. Let's give you another robot. Give you another robot. And another robot. So you need to go a bit faster. And we'll put extra robots on you guys as well. And everything there. Right, let's see what happens with that. Spare wheel is more common. That means I'm not selling. Nope, we are. That's okay. Uh, we got backlog. Uh, cars are working their way down to the end. Insufficient resources, as usual. Okay. Let's see what we're doing on our loans. So we've got an £800,000 loan available. Um, we could do with paying off these actually, but there's no way of doing that. Okay, we'll leave that running. Uh, what else have we got going on? Right, these seem to be backlogged. So let's improve these. Why is cars not going to that line? Okay, so let's get these upgraded. It's a massive priority, actually. Because if cars are leaving that line to last because they're going to these two spots first, that's going to take some time. Okay, so what we've got going on here? Everything's moving through swimmingly. Insufficient resources. What is missing? Right, so we have got door panels causing us problems. Right, okay. Maybe I need to rip this lot out and put in a few storage extra locations because this is ridiculous. 
insufficient resources is, is my biggest problem. I've got everything down here connected. I could bring in those two. Got those there. Do you know what? I'm going to do it. Oops. All right, let's just take this over to there. And again to there, and we'll take it straight across. So that should start improving anything there. Yeah, we've got parts going through, which is good. Take that straight up. Take that straight up. Take that straight up. All right, so let's make sure these are connected all the way straight through. And again, straight through. And again, straight through. Perfect. So that should not be an issue moving forward. Okay, so let's also get some more routes straight through here and over. Right. That's a complex web of conveyors. But let's hope that actually starts improving things. So what we're doing at the moment per hour. So sales have increased. So we're doing 32 cars now per hour. Okay, we're doing more than a car every two minutes, which is good, which is really good. Okay, um, I think we'll leave it there for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, next time, uh, we're going to start looking at... Uh, we're going to let this run a bit uh, so we can pay off some loans to get some money back. Uh, but also, I'm going to be looking at uh, making sure we can start producing more components in-house, which is our original plan, because when we look at our costs and our expenses in the last hour, the majority of our cost was component purchase price, okay, and capital investment. Um, so we're going to try and stop spending money on capital investment and yeah, start buying more components, sorry, raw materials and reduce our components. So that's Murphy out until next time.